So we have a question from Esoteric Jahanist. I hope I'm saying it right. His comment goes like this. Love your videos. Thank you, Esoteric Jahanist. I was self-controlled on SR for 40 plus days once, and it was the most productive and clear-minded time of my entire life. I'm trying to get back there again. Can you talk about getting back to a high point? And then he says, it feels impossible to get back to that point again. Um, this is a common theme. Um, and I'll try to answer it as best as I can. The first uh, thought that comes to mind is that we always want, we always want to go back to that point where we uh, we remember this point in the past where everything was just going smoothly. It was going great, and we just want to get back to that point, right? Um, the first thing that comes to mind is that we have to keep realizing that we have to stay in the present. The past is the past. And when you, instead of wanting to get back to the high point and reaching this new streak, then try to remember your past and this streak and getting to this high point like uh, getting, being this productive and feeling great, just be grateful that you got to experience it and then let it be because you will never feel like exactly like that again, right? Because it's in the past. What we have now is the present. And when we constantly want something that was in the past, then we are not present and then we cannot cannot act right or Maybe be aware of the presence of the present. <laughs> you know, what's happening right now. So I get that you feel motivated to get back. But you're doing yourself um, like, uh, you know, what I'm trying to say, it's a bad idea to want something from the past. Because you will never attain it and then you will sabotage your present. I'm slaughtering it right now, but I hope you get that. So I also want to get back to my high streak. And it's been many years since I got to that. And for me it's one hundred and seventy seven days. I've had several one hundred plus day streak. But it, <laughs> what I'll say always also try to say is that the days don't matter. It doesn't matter at all. It's just a number. It's just a game we play. It's a thought. It's a beautiful idea that when we reach 40 days or 44 days, in your case, or if I reach my 177 days, something magical will, will happen. Um... But the reason why we relapsed is because we were not present and we were not doing what we were supposed to do. We were dreaming of something we wanted in the future, a higher streak or a career or something, or we were being regretful of something in the past. Instead of stuff, just staying present, doing the work and enjoying the fruits of your labor. So something happens all the time in the mind that will sabotage the present and will end up in a relapse because in the back of our minds we wanted this relapse we had you know you can say I quit porn forever I quit masturbation forever but it will um, it will catch up to you at some point and you will have to deal with this pain. Even though you, um, you know, chop it down many times, it's, uh, it's very difficult to cut off the root of this addiction. So I, I always preach this. 
esoteric jihanist is that we have to accept everything and i know it's not a clear cut answer but but there is no clear cut answer it's just that be grateful for what you had in the past and that you achieved those states and that you realized what was holding you back and you realized all the benefits that come with retaining your semen your seed which gives you power and now you know you have this knowledge now not because a youtuber told you or it's some video or some article but because you experienced it and that is so valuable it's priceless that's what i'm trying to say that is priceless information on the experiential level but i know how you feel you want that feeling back now you can have that feeling instantly you don't have to wait 44 days because you mentioned what was it i was self controlled on sr for 40 plus days once and it was the most productive and clear minded time of my life you can be productive and you can do many good habits to become clear minded doesn't just have to be semen retention and i know it's it's like at the top of the list i know that but you can be productive right now you can you can take the steps right now even though you're tired even though you have brain fog and even though you have relapsed now and you you kind of want to relapse again you kind of want to feel that great feeling so you see it's tied it's tied to that you want to get the feeling that you had in the past of feeling good and your brain tells you yeah, we're feeling bad. We're not as productive. We're not clear-minded. Let's masturbate. Let's watch porn. Let's eat all this shit. Let's throw away. So it's a clash between suffering again and pleasure. So you can get rid of all this um, discomfort by just staying present. What do you have right now in your life? What can you focus on now instead of waiting for the future to solve your problems when you will achieve the streak? And it will help. The further you go on the streak, it just becomes effortless. I'm feeling this right now. I'm, this is day 21, I think. <laughs> like the past few days, it's just been effortless. The things I have done today, and and that I'm sitting right here, and it, it's it's just crazy. I'm I'm going into the territory again, and I think you can also tell. Someone commented that I got my glow back, and 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 I can feel it. I can feel this limitless energy coming back to me. So you will, esoteric Johannes, you will regain it. But what can you do now? Because it's about building discipline for when you have all for what of it's about building discipline for when the urges come back. What will you do then? Will you have discipline or will you have not done all the, the work to be able to withstand the urges and then relapse again and then you want that feeling again and then you feel bad, all that. So there are two pains in life the pain of regret or the pain of discipline and you esoteric jhanist and me we should choose discipline because the pain of discipline will reap us many rewards many benefits the pain of regret will do nothing it's just more pain shame guilt wanting to feel what we felt in the past waiting to feel great in the future stay present be productive right now make the right decisions make the right choices 
Do the work now. You don't have to wait 40 days. And if you wait 40 days, nothing will happen in 40 days. You might feel a little bit better. But if you're building all the good habits now, if you're doing the work now, then the way you felt will come almost instantly to you. And then it will be compounding with the semen retention because that is also a very good habit to build energy and to expand energy in a much better way if you've learned how to do that. So I hope that made sense. Esoteric Janice, thank you for asking. If you guys like want to ask questions, you you can always do that. I, I won't promise that I'm going to talk about it because I, I, I have to feel like talking about this subject. Um, I think a lot of people feel I talk too much about suffering and discipline and all of this. And it's like, I, yeah, how do I explain it? It's just, it's just because most people only want to focus on when they feel great or all the benefits they will receive or, you know, that, that's my most viewed video, the 22 natural benefits. But, but they only spawn from not doing porn and masturbation, which is looking away from the pleasure in order to balance out your life and your energy levels and all that. So that's why I talk about the suffering, because we have to face our fears. We have to face the suffering. We have to do the work. And I'm going to keep on saying it because it's so important that, because the moment we just focus on Oh, I felt, I felt great back then. I'm going to feel great now. I want to feel great. You have this, you want something instead of just being. Because when, you, when we, when we are, when we just are in the present, then we can deal with, with everything. So I'm just trying to pull us back to center so that we can focus on the task at hand. And when the benefits and all the rewards, they enter, and we build up this limitless energy, we get to enjoy it and not, do not cling on to it because then you want it and then it will disappear and you will start to sabotage yourself and relapse. It's just about staying present, enjoying your life. When you feel great, you feel great. When you feel bad, you feel bad. But you stay focused on the path which involves suffering and momentary pleasure and joy, happiness, like this. But through the life that goes like this, you stay stoic and you do the work. You stay stable and you stay in your path. It's all you have to do. And then you will most likely feel more sense of enjoyment than you feel suffering because you are swimming in the suffering you are welcoming it with open arms and then it doesn't have the power that it used to so in a way it's all positive because you just say you are welcome here hard work and discipline and suffering and all of that i'll take you right in and then you will reap the rewards And this will create purpose because now you know you, you have to do some work and then you start to figure out what do I want to do with my life in the present, right now? What does my life look, right, look like and what can I do about it? And this purpose, I'm telling you, it will ramp up all the hormones in the most beautiful way. And you will have drive and motivation and discipline. And it's a beautiful thing.